الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله It is stated with reference to Al-Qawl Al-Badi' in a blessed summary of hadith that Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has stated that person who recites salawat through sharif or salutations upon me 50 times every day I will shake hands with him on the day of judgment Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Salatan wa salaman Alika ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam The month of Safar al-Mudhaffar celebrates the death anniversary and the urs of the reviver of the 14th century Hijri of the Islamic calendar none other than Allah Hazrat Imam Ahmad Raza Khan rahmatullah ta'ala alayhi Indeed he was a great lover and very obedient to the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and this love gave him many rewards. When Allah Hazrat Ali went to perform Hajj for the second time, he kept on reciting Durood, Salawat and Salam in front of the sacred tomb till late at night with the desire of beholding Rasulullah But in the first night, he was not destined to be blessed with this privilege. On this occasion, he wrote a famous stanza in a poetic form in whose opening couplet he expressed the hope of attachment with the merciful Prophet ﷺ. Having presented this stanza while he was sitting with extreme respect, waiting to behold Rasulullah ﷺ, his fortune smiled as he was blessed with beholding Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam with open eyes in a wakeful state Subhanallah azza wa jal May we be sacrificed on those eyes that beheld the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam in wakefulness He was deservedly blessed with this privilege as he was devoted and obedient to Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam and engrossed in his love which is evident from his beautiful poetry. Allah Hazrat Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali once said, If you split my heart into two pieces, one will see La ilaha illallah inscribed in one piece and Muhammadur Rasulullah on the other. Sallallahu Ta'ala Ali wa alayhi wa sallam. Tajudare Ahlul Sunnat Allah Hazrat Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali in the eyes of eminent and respected scholars and saints of his time was fully captivated in the love of the beloved Nabi sallallahu He would be often found gloomy due to being away from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa When Allah Hazrat Rahmatullah ta'ala Ali read the blasphemous and insulting statements written by the paid blasphemers Tears would roll down his blessed cheeks. He, Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali, forcefully refuted them so that they may be diverted to writing against him in reaction rather than against the pure and beloved Rasul Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Sallam. Allah Hazrat Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali often felt proud that Allah Azza wa Jal has made him a shield for the protection of the honor of the noble and pure Prophet ﷺ in this era. He would refute their blasphemous statements forcefully and bitterly so that they become engaged in using their energy against him. And for that span of time, they would not blaspheme and insult the pure and beloved and blessed Rasul ﷺ. Allah Hazrat Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali would never let the poor go empty-handed. He, Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali, would always assist them. Even in the last moments of his blessed life, 
He made a will to his relatives to look after the poor and needy, to serve them delicious food and never to rebuke them. Allah Hazrat Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali often remained busy with writing and compiling books. He Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali offered salah with jamaat, with the congregation throughout his life. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. He Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali would consume very little amounts of food and would sleep for only one and a half to two hours daily. At the time of sleeping, Allah Hazrat Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali would place his thumb on his index finger forming the word Allah. He Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali would never stretch his blessed legs whilst asleep. He would sleep on his right side with both hands combined and placed under his head. He Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali would then bend his legs. In this way, his body would portray the word Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. These are the unique manners of the devotees of Allah Azza wa Jal and the lovers of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Once Allah Hazrat Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali was traveling from Pili Beat to Bareli Sharif by train. During the journey, the train had stopped at Nawab Ganj train station for two minutes since the time of Maghrib Salah had started. Allah Hazrat Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali exited the train along with some of his companions to offer their Salah on the platform. The companions were worried as the train would depart very soon. Allah Hazrat Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali, however, was very calm. He Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali had the adhan uttered and started the Jamaat Salah of Maghrib. On the other hand, the driver turned the ignition on. Mysteriously, however, the train did not start and move at all. Senior officers, the station master and other people assembled to see what the problem might be. The driver told them that there was no engine problem. Suddenly, a pundit, a Hindu priest yelled out, Look over there, a dervish is praying. Perhaps that is the reason why the train is not moving. Allah Hazrat Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali was mobbed, was surrounded by a lot of people. Having completed his salah, as soon as Allah Hazrat Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali boarded the train, along with his followers, the train then started to move. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. Allah Hazrat Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali wrote approximately 1,000 books on different topics. He Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali wrote thousands of fatawa and legal rulings from the period of 1286 AH to 1340 AH. Unfortunately, many of them were not recorded. Those which were copied have been compiled under the title of Al-Ataya An-Nabawiya Fil Fatawa Radawiya, commonly known famously known as Fatawa Rizviya. The latest edition of Fatawa Rizviya consists of 30 volumes, 21,656 pages, 6,847 question and answers, and 206 booklets. An ocean of argumentation is turbulent in each Fatwa. His thorough knowledge of the glorious Quran, a hadith, fiqh, jurisprudence, mantik, logic, etc. can be judged only by a deep study of his fatawa. The Urdu translation of the glorious Qur'an on the part of Allah Hazrat Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali is superior to all other Urdu translations of the present era. The translation written by Allah Hazrat Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali is called Kanzul Iman. Allah Hazrat Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali's Spiritual successor, Mawlana Sayyid Naimuddin Murad Abadi, Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali, has written a brief commentary, tafsir, of Kanzul Iman, deriving the year of his demise from a Quranic ayah, a Quranic verse, Allah Hazrat Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali gave the news of his demise four months and twenty days before. The Quranic verse is as follows. Translation from Kanzul Iman Rounds of silver utensils and goblets will be there for them. Al Hazrat Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali passed away on the 25th of Safar al Mudaffar, 1340 Hijri, 
1921 on Jumu'ah, Friday at 2.38 p.m. according to Indian Standard Time. As soon as the Mu'addin uttered, Hayya ala al-Falah, Ala Hazrat, the Imam of the Ahl Sunnah, the Mujaddid of the Ummah, the Reviver of the Sunnah, the Destroyer of Bid'ah, the Scholar of Sharia, the Guide of Tariqah, Allama, Mawlana Al-Hajj, Al-Hafid, Al-Qari, Al-Shah, Imam Ahmad Raza Khan, Alihi Rahmatul Rahman, his life departed. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. Even today, his blessed shrine is the focal point for visitors in Bareilly Sharif. On the 25th of Safar al-Mudaffar, a Syrian scholar dreamt in Baytul Muqaddas that he was present in the great court of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. The beloved Nabi sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam's companions, alihimul ridwan and awliya Allah, rahimahumullah ta'ala, were also present and were in total silence. It seemed as if they were waiting for somebody. The Syrian scholar humbly asked the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, may my parents be sacrificed for you. Who is being awaited? The most beloved and merciful Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam replied, We are waiting for Ahmad Raza. The scholar asked, Who is Ahmad Raza? Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam replied, He is an inhabitant of Bareilly in India. When the saint awoke, he immediately journeyed from Syria to Bareilly Sharif to meet with Allah Hazrat Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali. However, to his dismay, he learnt and was informed that Allah Hazrat Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali had passed away on the same day, that is 25th of Safar, 1340 AH, at the time when he had seen the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam in his dream, waiting for Ahmad Raza. Sallu ala al-Habib Sallallahu Ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam al Hazrat Imam Ahmad Raza Khan Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali Once he was invited for a meal The food had been served But all the people present Were waiting for Imam Ahmad Raza Khan Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali To begin eating He Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali Picked up a piece of cucumber And ate it He Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali ate a second and a third. Following suit, the guests also stretched their hands to eat some of the cucumber. However, the Shaykh Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali stopped them and asked for all of the cucumber to be given to him. Therefore, he had eaten all the cucumber that was on the dining mat. He Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali was known to eat very little. Therefore, when he Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali had eaten all the cucumber, the guests were astonished. The guests inquired as to why he had ate all the cucumber. The Honorable Shaykh Rahmatullah Ta'ala Ali replied that the first piece was very bitter. And so with the second and the third, since eating cucumber is a sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Ta'ala Ali wa sallam, and this cucumber was bitter, I did not want anyone to spit it out because of being bitter. May Allah Azawajal bless him and forgive us for his sake and grant us true obedience, true love for Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, for all Sahaba kiram alayhim ridwan, for Ahlul Bayt and all awliya Allah rahimahumullah ta'ala. Ameen bijahin nabil ameen sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.